Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Tracks the Train Set Game. And a pretty major update has just been released, which allows us to control or place multiple trains into our train sets. Before, there was only a single train that we could drive around, but now we can have as many trains as we want. I don't know if there's a limit, so I, I'm kind of tempted to build a circular, like a big circular course and just put train after train onto it and see how many we can get going around and maybe even work with some junctions and stuff. So how this works is the train is now a part, an experimental part. This is an experimental update right now, by the way. Uh, so the train is a part that you can actually place down individually. So if I place this right here, that creates another train right there. And I should probably put some track pieces down to accommodate this train. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so now this train is part of our world. So if I hold T, instead of resetting the trains, T actually brings up this train menu where we can manually adjust each individual train. So you can see when we click on it, we get this diamond thing that shows which train is selected. So that's train number one, train number two, train number three, and train number four. So I can go ahead and edit the looks of this train. I just like to pick just kind of like random stuff just to separate the trains from each other. Put the strength up to 100. There we go. Let's make it uh, lines. And there's our new train. And then if we want to put um, similar carriages and stuff on it, we can just click cargo. We can click passenger. And now we can just click reset and it'll go back down to its starting point. So this is how you remove carriages, how you delete your train and uh, reset. You can even move the starting point and you can choose which train to drive. If I want to drive train one, I just click drive. Now I'm in train one. So the only thing right now that I can't figure out how to do because I don't think I haven't found out if there's a way to do it yet, but it seems like there isn't, which is starting multiple trains at the same time. It seems like the only trains that you can get going are the ones that you're currently in. So I think we have to start one train, get it into our loop, then we have to go out and to another train, drive this one, start this one, and so on. So uh, however many trains we're going to have, I think we have to individually start each one and hopefully it doesn't collide with the rest of our trains. So that's going to be the interesting part about this challenge. So the question is, um, I have to refresh myself on how some things work. For instance, the turntable. I think it'd be really cool to have some turntables. Do the turntables automatically turn? Oh, okay. So they do. When you, If you approach the turntable from the wrong side, it'll automatically turn to accommodate your train. So that's excellent. That means that we can have like crazy turntable type things going on with trains going in and out of each other. However, it is on the experimental section of the um, builder, which means that they might not work as intended with these new things. The, oh, the other thing about this update that I just remembered, these junction things, since we now have multiple trains and you're not going to be able to control every train that's going, you can actually set the default direction that the train goes by just clicking on the junction now. So right now, if a train goes by here by itself, it'll go straight. But if we want our train to be turning, even though we're not controlling it, we just click and it'll automatically turn now. All right, so now it is time to build our world. I have no idea how big I'm going to make it because I have no idea how many trains we're going to be able to put down. And maybe should we start with just putting down a bunch of trains? I don't know. I mean, we could do that. Let's start with a default of 10 trains. 10 trains to begin with. All right, we've now got 10 trains all lined up with presumably different colors since I mostly selected them randomly, except this one I thought would be fun to just make an all black train. We'll call it the midnight train going anywhere. So now is going to be the tough part. We have to make a place for them to all go that they're not going to collide with each other, but they'll all be able to fit at the same time. Uh, this is going to be the tough part. So let's see what happens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've made a track that loops on itself and has some crisscrossing areas which might run us into some issues because I don't know how these turntables are going to react if a train comes at them from two different perpendicular sides because it is programmed to turn towards the side that the train is coming from. But if two trains are conflicting with that, I don't know what's going to happen and I don't know if we're going to witness that happen or not. But um, first, we need to just do an, an, an initial test run. So let's go on a train one here. Let's drive it. Let's put it up to speed. Here, let me, what's my view here? There we go. I'm going to put all my trains on max speed. There we go. Now we should be able to observe. And let's just make sure that this track works. 
All right, so we'll decorate it after we test it first, and then we'll send all the rest of the trains in here. But I just want to make sure that there's no problem spots and that it actually loops back on itself. All right, so it goes through the first turntable. Oh, I meant to put a turntable here. Wait, I can do this. I can do this. Huh? Uh, 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 there we go. Perfect. All right, goes underneath the tunnel, goes underneath the bridge. Goes around here, goes up a little bit because random reasons. All right, now here's where the turntables have to turn. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to have our first jump. I think it's going to be looking cool with multiple trains jumping like that. And then we have uh, that one, that turntable. It goes over that bridge. And then it's going to go up above this jump. And then circle back, jumping way down onto its starting track here, and then it should continue the cycle all over again. All right, so yeah, there we go. Now all the turntables have to turn again. So yeah, the question is gonna be what happens when multiple trains at the turntable from different directions. And we have nine more trains over here ready to go. If we can get these nine trains in circulation, then we'll see what happens if we can add any more trains or not. But while this train's going, I'm gonna start decorating this place. And by decorating, I mean placing random objects because we actually have some new ones. Let's actually see here. Where are they? We have a yellow taxi. Let's go ahead and just put some yellow taxis down. Yeah, we're just gonna put some taxis down because they're new and, um, I can. And if we can, we do. And also some scooters because the scooter scooters are apparently new as well. Put some underneath the bridge because I can. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, a double-decker bus. Oh, these things are actually pretty big. Check that out. Going to put a double-decker bus there. Let's go ahead and just put one over there. Um, oh, school bus? We got some big stuff. Wait, this is just going to be like a transportation mecca. All right, we got some school buses. And a crane. All right, sure. Let's put a crane on the turntable just to make people kind of nervous. Like, why is there... A and you know what? A crane also by this bridge here. Because why are there cranes working on things that we're actually driving through? Um, and a sailing boat. Because this is going to make a lot of sense. Put the sailing boat... How about they jump through the sails? Does, does he actually... Does he get damaged? I don't think he gets damaged. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Is he going to get stopped by the sails? No, of course not. All right, so we're jumping the sailboat. All right, we've also got train sheds. So, of course, we can put some train sheds over where our trains are coming from. So, we'll do that. that oh, wow, these trains are, like, right next to each other. Look at that. All right, so that's kind of cool. I like the train shed. Should we have them go through a train shed while they're here? All right, how about there? That's kind of perfect. It just takes up that whole turn. All right, we also have a wind turbine. That's a new one as well. We had the windmill, but now we have a wind turbine. I'll put it in this... Um, actually, I'll, I'll kind of line the outer area over here with them. There we go. Now we have some wind turbines for uh, scenery. All right, I think that is all the new items. So now let's just start decorating with some old items. We'll put some planes up in the air, of course. Bushy trees and stuff around. Pine trees. Pine trees are always nice. I think some hot air balloons would be good. What if we just have this plane uh, inevitably flying into this hot air balloon? I wonder if that's ever happened. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm pretty much done with this. Uh, I just added a bunch of random details. We got like a small little town over here. We got like a park area over here with like some random rock formation and some campers. We got the windmill section with a just random lighthouse. We got some air traffic. We got some buses, some construction with construction workers and stuff. And a factory, of course. And we got the clock next to the train station and a radio tower so people can communicate what time it is. And we got a farm with just animals roaming wherever they want, not even being fenced in at all, and, uh, I think that pretty much sums it up. So we got our train still going around here, and I think it's time to just... Oh, I actually have to connect these tracks, first of all. But I think it's time to actually start putting the rest of the trains on there, and I don't really see how I'm gonna predict where they're gonna line up, so I'm just gonna do it at random and hope we don't break everything. All right, well, I think this works pretty well for getting the trains on there. So now I'm just going to save this and we're going to see if we can get all 10 trains going without colliding and see what happens on these, uh, these intersections. Those are going to be the trouble spots. Okay, here we go. Train number two, drive. I'm going to put this thing on full power and then I guess we'll watch to see, I guess we'll watch each train to see if they actually make it without colliding. And then we'll go on to the next train. Because if I just do one after another after another, I'm not going to see if they actually integrate into the circulation um, effectively. 
All right, so this one, they're clearly on like very, very different parts, which is good. Which is actually gonna make it kind of hard, I think, later on. Well, I don't know, we'll find out. All right, but what I wanna watch right now is intersections. Are they prone to hit any of the intersections at the same time? All right, I don't think so. That one's gonna go through that intersection, then this one's gonna go through it. I think we're gonna be okay here. I mean, this is somewhat close. Like, he just went through that one, and now he just went through that one. But I think we're okay. All right, next train. All right, looks like it's gonna be a s Oh. Yeah, it's a smooth integration, but look how close these trains are actually gonna be. That white train's gonna be right behind this green train. All right, I think everything is gonna go all right, though. At least it looks like it. All right, let's go on to train number four. I know one of these times I'm gonna start up one of these trains, then I'm gonna go look at the track and a train's just gonna be crashed somewhere or just not even on the track. All right, here it goes. It's going in. We have our first intersection. I don't think anything else is gonna interfere with this intersection, nope. Everything is going pretty well so far. This is fun, this is good. Like being able to have multiple trains all going around the same track like this is, is pretty cool. All right, on to train five. This whole thing is probably just like a train conductor's nightmare. Oh no, it happened. Did you see it? Oh, oh, awesome. The train stops and then it continues to look right. Oh, oh there, there it goes again. All right, so now we know what happens if two trains approach the turntable at the same time. However, that now means that this train's catching up to that train. So if it happens again, we're going to have a collision. Uh-oh. But they seem to maintain their speed, which is good. Uh-oh, we got another- Man, there's so many collisions just happened, but that's gonna reset the spacing between all of them, so maybe they'll- Maybe it'll kind of iron itself out as that happens. They'll create more space- Oh, that's a- Oh, oh, nope, that one didn't work over there. Wow, this is already a disaster at, what, five trains? We're halfway there? This is gonna- This is just gonna be terrible once we get up to ten trains. This is way more accident-prone than I was expecting. Well, let's keep going. All right, <laughs> let's just make it even more accident prone now. Train number six. All right, so now I'm not even gonna look anymore. I'm just gonna put all the trains in circulation. All right, so there goes train number six. Now we're just gonna go train number seven, train number eight. Two more trains to go. Train number nine, my favorite, because it's completely midnight black. All right, I like that you can still see the wood texture in it, even though it's so dark. All right, that's one. that one's maxed out. And the final train, Train number 10. Here we go. There's gonna be so many holdups here. So many holdups. Maybe we could just keep adding trains until nothing can move anymore. All right, there we go. Train number 10. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. It happened. We, we've had train crashes. Look, the, the fronts of the trains. Oh, it happened already. Oh, no. I don't think there's any way to fix this. Yeah, now this- the midnight train stuck there, that train stuck there, now this train stuck here. All because, for some reason, this front train stopped here, and I don't know why. Alright, so we might have to do some live adjustments to our track to make it less accident prone. Which means, um, dealing with these intersections, which I can do! I know how to do this! Alright, so the way we do this is we just make a straight track going through, and then we just make a, um, nope, not like that. Hello, can we just do this the right- there we go. Then we make a bridge going over, and that way there will no longer be any, whoops, interference. And then we can see the actual trains going in the directions that they're supposed to be going. Where's the other one? Right here? Alright, so I can't actually- I need to get these trains out of the way before I can do that one. Alright, so I think I've worked this out so there's no longer gonna be any conflicts. Now let's see what happens if we actually get all 10 trains in circulation, if we can. Because now the issue is, are they gonna get into circulation when another train is coming back to the start point? Or can we avoid those types of collisions? I can't really see a way to predict how long it's gonna take each train to get there, especially since they're all starting from different points. But, um, I guess I'll just do one train after the other and see what happens. Finally, train number 10. Taking a look over there, a little bit nervous. Oh, there we go. I see some movement. A little bit nervous because I'm not seeing as much movement as I was expecting to see. Oh, please don't tell me we've destroyed everything. Please don't tell me. What is happening here? Why? What? Why did you stop? I'm missing a bunch of trains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing trains. How am I missing trains? This is what I get for not watching what's happening here. Where's train three? 
What's up? Where am I? What is this? What is this place? Where have these trains gone off to? I am so confused. All right, we're heading back into town apparently. Where did you guys get off to? What is this? What might be the issue is there might be a collision if a train is going under this tunnel at the same time that there's a train going over the tunnel. I think the hitbox of the train might actually stop the trains from going over and that might be the issue. So the solution to this is... All right, so just like that. So now I, 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 I can't imagine anything else. Oh, here's another one right here actually. So now we should be able to get all of the trains in circulation here. Okay, take three on the 10 train. I didn't think 10 trains was going to be this hard. Oh no, I'm on train 10 and look at what has happened over here. What is this? What has happened? This is like... <laughs> we broke the game. We totally broke the game here. And... And they stopped over here again too. This this is where I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening over here. This doesn't make any sense. We have to observe, I guess. All right, let's just not do all ten trains. I want to know what's happening. Why is that? Why are things going wrong? I think let's put five trains on and see if we can see whatever happens over here happen. All right, here we go. This is train five. So we're gonna take a look at our circuit and see if we can figure out what's causing the problems. Now what? Why is this? This just didn't go up here. Alright, hold on. Let me get rid of those two trains if I can in time. Train number one, reset. Train number two, reset. Oh! Train number three, reset. Alright, so let's see what happens when this train gets over here. Apparently, this is just a section that doesn't work. What? Why? Why is that happening? Everything's working fine now. All right, needless to say, I'm confused as to why some of these trains stopped. I'm just gonna get rid of potential like collision issues with those things. All right, so let's just keep these trains running and then slowly add one by one and see if we can see the, whatever happens over here. I feel like that orange train's catching up to the white train, but they shouldn't, they shouldn't be able to close distance considering they're all going at the same, whoa. Okay, it is a collision issue, I think. I think if a train is going underneath while another train is trying to go over and they hit at the right moment, then there's a collision, apparently. All right, so I think I'm gonna rework this so that the bridges are higher than they are now, so that way we lower the chances of any major collisions happening. All right, here we go. If I'm right, I think I've gotten rid of any collision issues, so we should have a track that lets us put all 10, ten trains on as long as they don't land on each other here. Let's give it another go. I want to see this thing going. Full strength. All right, we got now- Oh, no, 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 no! What? What <laughs> happened there? I was gonna say we have five trains in circulation, but clearly five trains is not correct now because of uh, what just happened. So that's the big issue is just with the, the entrance point. You can't have a collision on the entrance point, but let's put this train back in circulation so we have another five and see if we have any other issues. Other than the obvious, no, no, not again. Not again. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? What are the chances that this is going to happen twice? All right, pink. We need the pink train. Why is this so hard? I just want to be a 10 train conductor. Let me live my dream. Leave me alone. All right, here we go. Please. Please work. Okay. All right, train number five is in. And it is successful. They seem to all be working. Let's add train number six and just hope we get lucky and there's no collision issue. All right, because now I think it's down to just the entrance needs to be successful. And as long as no, 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 no. Mm. Oh, you're gonna be me. You're gonna be me so hard right now. All right, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six trains. This is so difficult. This is so difficult to do. Train number seven. All right, get the no green train. Don't you do it, green train. Oh. Oh, train number seven. Wait, get back in. Get back in before it's too late. 
No, get away from me. Dang, all right, we just stopped that train. All right, so the, which train? Orange train? Orange train, drive. Quick, 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 go, 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 go. Go, go, go before the green train catches up. Go, 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 hit top speed. Oh no, here it comes. It's coming. Is you gonna make it stop? Ugh. Did you stop it? Oh, the green train stopped, right? Green, there go, 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 go. Oh no, this is not the right green train. No, everything's falling apart before us. All right, let's reset that train. Where's the green one? Is it this one? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, now we're back to five trains again. Oh, this is so difficult. Okay, so now we have six trains. Six trains are in circulation. Do we have seven trains? Wait, why did that one just stop? Green one stopped. Please don't. No, everything's gonna get ruined. Oh, there goes the white train. There goes the, what? Oh man, this is tough. All right, we're back at five trains. Wait, is the, is the per pink train catching up to the orange one? It is catching up. You can't do that. Cause that's what happens. Now you ruin everything. All right, I think I found the issue. The issue is that the, cha the trains do change speed after they drop. Like that train speeds up immensely after it drops. So then it's gonna be able to catch up to any train that's going max speed here because it exceeds max speed after this drop. So I think a train needs to actually go through a full cycle before it can stay equal distance away from any train in front of it or behind it. And that's what makes this like pretty much virtually impossible. The only way to do this is if you have a completely flat track. And I think that's the only way to get 100% reliability. Because watch, now this green train is going to start catching up to this orange train because it just got a huge speed boost from that thing. And it's going to go up there. It's going to go down there faster. It's starting to close the gap a little bit more. And there's going to be a point in which they do, they should even out with their speed. Maybe, they, maybe he was far enough ahead that they've just reached it. It looks like they may have. There may be hope for those ones. All right, I think there's hope. How many do we have? We have six again. Six, I think, has been the max. We've never exceeded six trains successfully in circulation. All right, we got train number seven entering circulation. Now my strategy is gonna be, I'm gonna reset the train if it looks like there's gonna be a collision. And so far, this one looks great. Perfect, nice, all right, excellent. It's far enough ahead that that train's not gonna catch up. All right, now train number eight. I have a strategy now, I have a strategy that we can do this. And the strategy is when you know you're gonna mess up, just cut your losses and start over before you have to restart everything. All right, here we go. Train number eight. Uh-oh, this one's gonna be cutting it close. I have the reset button ready though. I think we're good. I think that's enough distance. That's enough distance for train number eight. I don't think he's gonna get caught up on. All right, this is the most we've done. This is our biggest yet. Eight trains in circulation. I think we're good. All right, we're gonna go on to the next train. Train number nine, my favorite. Don't fail me now. Number nine. All right, here we go. Train number nine. I am ready to reset. I think we're good. I don't see any trains coming in. Train number nine is in circulation. Very clear, perfectly clear in circulation. All right, let's take a look to appreciate what we have right now before we try the 10th and final train. Here is nine trains and I think, I think it's solid. I think it's solid. Okay, let's go for it. Train number 10. The final train, <laughs> please work, <laughs> please work. All right, we're having so many trains going through the entrance area right now, one after another. All right, we're at max speed here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get ready to reset though, just in case we mess everything up. It looks like, oh, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, <gasps> we did it. 10 trains in circulation. This was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting to go up to even more trains, but Wow, we actually did it. Check out our little train town. We've, I think, I don't think, I don't think we're going to mess up anymore. I think they've reached the state of equilibrium. They're not going to catch up with each other anymore because they've all gone through like a whole cycle pretty much. They're all going to keep picking up and lowering speed in the same ratio. I think it's all going to be good. So I think we've had a, a success here. I'm kind of tempted now. I am... I might just be a little bit tempted. Can we do more? How many until we mess up? You know what? That's what I'm gonna do now. That's what I'm gonna do now is how many trains can we get going until we've actually messed this thing up? Probably just this one more. Right here, now we got an all white train. Let's put this all white train into the mix here. See if we can do it. This is train number 11. Oh, this is not a good, this is not looking good for this train. Maybe, oh, 
Oh, nope, 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 no. Train number 11. Reset. Reset train number 11. All right, let's try this again. Train number 11. Oh, no. Yes. No. Oh, I thought it had it. Oh, and it ruined that train. Okay, we just ruined everything. We ruined it all. All right, well, 10 trains is the max that we're going to be doing here. And that was the initial goal I set out for, so I'm pretty happy. What do you guys think of the new train update? Which one of these trains is your favorite? Good luck naming anyone except the midnight train because they're all just a kind of a random assortment of colors. Uh, if you want to see more tracks, let me know what you'd like to see with this new update. And uh, I'll think about doing some more content on it. I mean, I like the idea. Like, this kind of adds a challenge aspect to it where you have multiple trains try to create something that can handle all these different trains. All right, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.